stop the weeps, will you? The way you're carrying on, you'd think I was going to war. Say, listen, doll, this is nothing worse than a joyride. Just like you and I going to Coney Island. President, the situation is precisely this. Somewhere here, within this circle, General Garcia waits with what is left of the Cuban rebel army. He is completely hemmed in by the Spaniards. Now, uh, it's absolutely necessary that General Garcia be advised as to what point along the coast we will land our forces so that he can push toward us while we are moving in his direction. Only by uniting our forces can we hope to bring the war to an early end. Have you had any communication with General Garcia? No, sir. We don't know his exact position, except that he is somewhere within this area. It is a section of fever-ridden swamps, thick forests, and heaven knows what else. Nevertheless, as you can see, it is extremely important that we send someone to contact Garcia. And it must be done at once, Mr. President. Have you someone in mind? Yes, sir. He's in the outer office. This is such a grave undertaking, but I should prefer you talk to him. Have him come in. Have you Lieutenant Rowan come in? Yes. Will the Lieutenant please report to the President's office? President, this is Lieutenant Rowan. Glad to know you, Lieutenant. I'm honored to know you, sir. Thank you. Lieutenant, uh, Colonel Wagner has suggested you for an important and hazardous duty. Yes, sir. A great deal will depend upon your success. Perhaps more than any one of us at this moment realizes. You'll be thrown entirely upon your own resources. We can give you little or no help. Yes, sir. What am I to do? Deliver this message to General Garcia. Any answer, Mr. President? If you can get one. I think you fixed the right man, Colonel. Within ten days, an American officer will endeavor to land on your shores. He carries a message to General Garcia from the President of the United States. He's already reached Jamaica. ¿Qué dice? Eh? Como lo sospechábamos. Un espía americano trae un mensaje para García. Ya está en Jamaica. ¿Sabe dónde desembarcará? Have you any idea as to where he will attempt to land? No. ¿Qué sugiere? Have you any suggestion? Well, I suggest you secure the services of Dr. Ivan Krug and assign him to the case. Needless to say, Dr. Krug is without equal in the world of espionage. Diga la señora que se comunique con Dr. Krug. You may contact Dr. Krug at once. idea of holding up my ship. We ain't done anything in your blooming war. Well, you may have an American spy aboard, eh, Captain? This is an English boat, and there ain't no Yankees aboard here. Well, in that case, you don't mind if we look for ourselves, do you? Just proceed with your search. I know you, Dr. Crew, and you will hear from the King about this. Well, while I'm waiting to hear from the King, bring me your ship's papers. Send someone with him. 
Vete con él. Busca la cama arriba. Saca todo eso. Where are you from? Belfast, the one in Ireland. Where is the American? I don't know any American. All right, get out of there. Who are you? Kenny Berg. Adolf Kenny Berg. Deutsche in the car? Yeah. Who so comes to her? Minchin. And you? Earl Ross. Where are you from? Canada, Ottawa. You talk and look like an American to me. Well, I'm not. Why all the questions? I'll ask them. You answer them. All right, go ahead. How long have you been a stoker? Five years. Five years, eh? Mm -hmm. A stoker. Skin like a baby. I ain't been a stoker long. You said five years. What I meant to say is I've been at sea five years. Rub decks. Oh, what you meant to say was. Why did you take this job? The only thing I could find under the circumstances. Under what circumstances? That's none of your business. Who are you anyway? I think you misunderstood what I said. I said I'd ask the question. Well, I was quartermaster on the Baltic for two years. Second mate on the Queen's Banner for a year and a half. And I got in a little trouble. What sort of trouble? Enough that I had to get out of the country in a hurry. I still think you're an American. I don't care what you think. Captain Dakin's got my papers. They'll speak for themselves. And I got work to do. Bring this man to me when we get to port. All right. the two small boats on that deck house before? Yes. One of them's gone. Tell her to play that light toward shore. Alumbre la playa. Seguida. Is there something? Yes. More left. More, uh, tell him more left. Hacia la izquierda. Higher, higher. I thought so. That's him. All right. After, after him. After him around. He got lost all the machine.
Hello. Oh, you speak English, huh? Yes, yes. You have been with Chiquita? Yes. Yes, yes, sure. You are Americano? Yes. For me? Oh, no. Yeah, let's sit over there, huh? Like me? Sure. Why don't you kiss me? Well, don't you think? <laughs> well, hello, young fella. Where did you come from? <laughs> here, look here, 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 here. Come here. You know better than to go bothering strangers that way. <laughs> He's got bad manners. Funny, he can always sense when anyone's going to buy a drink. Uh, you are buying a drink, ain't you, partner? Well, you see, uh... Hello, Chiquita. How's tricks? Shame to yourself. Don't ever touch anything that don't belong to you. Thanks very much. <laughs> He's getting to be an awful nuisance. I can't trust him out of my sight. You. <laughs> you ought to be more careful of that, though. Some dishonest person might have stolen it. You're right, well. Thanks very much again. 
sin encontrar el hombre que buscamos. There he is. ¡Caliente! ¡Registre a ese hombre! ¡No lo digo! ¡Por acá lo digo! As you were. <coughs> right down my Sunday throat. Get over against that wall. That's an interesting belt you got there from Texas, ain't it? Well, mister, whatever your name is, you've just stuck your nose into something that's going to cost you your life. Now, wait a minute. You're looking for Garcia, ain't you? What about it? Well, he's my closest personal friend. When he started this war, he says, Dory, you go ahead. You know where he is? Well, not exactly, but I know a fellow who does know where he is, and I'm the only one that can lead you to him. Sit down and keep talking. Well, his, his name is Juan Madera. His boy is Garcia's right-hand man. All right. You're taking me to him. <laughs> yeah, well, wait a minute. You, you wouldn't expect me to do something for nothing, now, would you? Now, what's it worth if I take you right to him? What do you want? Say, five of them gold pieces on account, and more later, up to a hundred, huh? You'll get the balance if you make good. You'll get a bullet if you don't. Oh, why, you... You'll find that I'm the soul of honor, sir. Why, you ask anybody on this island, they'll tell you that my word is my bond. They always speak of me as Dory the... The is the you better get to go and I'll take that. Sure, sure, go ahead. Sure. Matter, lost? Oh, something burning. Looks like a bonfire. Yeah, a bonfire, someone's plantation. Boys get pretty careless around here with their matches. It's, it's Madera's place. That's the old boy I was taking you to see. Come on. Por ayudar al insurrecto García, vamos a fusilarte. Pero si nos dices dónde está, te perdonamos la vida. No tengo nada que decir. Who is it? Oh, Madera is himself. <laughs> It's like we're too late to ask him where Garcia is, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Madera's, huh? You know, he, he was a pretty fine old guy. I used to work for him once. 
His family was here before Columbus. So what now? Well, I brought you here as I promised. You know, it ain't my fault that he's dead. What about the balance? Why don't you go through his pockets? Yeah. <laughs> someone beat me to it. Wait a minute, here comes someone. Padre! Padre mio. Padre mio. <laughs> the old man's daughter, Lita. What a shame. Shame it's so dark. The face ain't bad neither. Niño. Hay dos hombres con Dios en el matorral. She means to come out. So it was you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute here. Don't blame me for that. This honorable gentleman here can prove it, can't you? That's true, we came to see your father, but we were too late. Who are you? Your father was loyal to General Garcia, wasn't he? Hasn't that been answered? Now who are you? I'm Lieutenant Rowan of the United States Army. And what did you want here? I wanted your father to help me find General Garcia. I have a message for him. A message? From whom? A message from the President of the United States. What proof have you? Does that mean you bring aid for my people? Does it mean the end of... of things like that? If it means what I think it does. Then I will take you to General Garcia. My brother is on his staff. I, I, I'm afraid it isn't a task for a girl. My father died for his country. Can I do less? We'll leave as soon as the Padre comes. Uskel Kura. Sini. I want you to know how much I appreciate what you're doing. What I'm doing is for my people. Here, Sergeant. Tie that on tight. Hey, lady. We need some fresh horses. How about using some of yours, huh? You may use what you please. No white ones now. They'll be seen too easily. All right. Lieutenant? You're not taking him. Why not? He's not to be trusted. He sold us out to the Spanish and sold the Spanish out to us. He's a thief, a cheat, and a murderer. But he's a good man to fight. Only as long as you pay him. And whoever pays the most gets his services. He's loyal to no one. But I don't dare dismiss him now. He knows what I'm here for. If I don't take him along, he's sure to sell me out. I've got to take him. Very well. Take him if you please, but I warn you, that man is rotten to the core.
Anda está Pascual. Anda, busca Pascual, lo encontrarás en la cantina. Anda, pronto. I've sent for Pascual, the leader of the village. He and his men will be valuable guides. like my new cook, huh? Quite an armful, I'd say. Yeah, kind of cute. I'm taking her along with us. Now, wait just a minute. Oh, no. You're taking nobody along. Oh, what do you mean? You got a gal, ain't you? That'll be enough out of you. Oh, no offense, Sonny. No offense. Ah, oh, the cold injustice. Oye, que donde tu vas? Oh, bamboos. Bamboo, sure. Get out of here. Will you come? No, me da la gana. Get out of here. No, me da la gana. 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 No, me da la You don't have to eat this if you don't want to. <laughs> Is there anything in it besides pepper? Oh, this was made mild on your account. Do they really exist on this type of food? Hmm. Do they exist? <laughs> well, she ain't doing so bad. Hello, Toots. No me gusta. Hmm? No. Right. Perdona, Melita. Ahí viene Pascual con seis hombres. Gracias. Pascual will be here in a few minutes with men we can trust. What Pascual is that? Pascual Morales. Oh! oh, 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 oh. What's the funny? I just have to think about something funny. Well, I used to know by the name of Pascual. Just a little bit dishonest. Todo está preparado, señorita. Seis hombres de confianza y... ¡Betty, no vuelve más! Same to you, same to you. Well, if it ain't the same old identical Pascual. Doggone if it ain't. You remember me, don't you, Pascual? Eh? No quiero nada contigo. ¡Venga, niñero, muchacho! ¡Española! ¡A caballo, todo el mundo! ¡A caballo, todo el mundo! ¡Ahí vienen los guerrilleros! ¡Son españoles! ¡Ahora, ahora! 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 ¡Ahora, ahora!
We've gained. But they're all around us. Our only chance is late. Get rid of your horse, quick. Rodriguez. Fresh footprints. A man and a woman. They must have gone across the lake. Quick. Vamos a Laguna. After this, there's no telling what's happened to him. Dry, wet it again, then burn it up. I imagine a little tobacco is very important to a man in a situation like this. Seems to help. And now you can help me put the rest of it back in these sacks. You're an odd person. Here you are in the Cuban jungle, with every chance of getting killed. All for the sake of a country you'd never seen until a few days ago. That doesn't seem to bother you a bit. Well, I hadn't thought of it exactly in those terms. After all, I'm only doing a job. Isn't it much more than just a job? Maybe. But I do know that whatever comes, it's been a great life. And if it leads to, well, even if it stops all of a sudden, I'm still glad I came. And so am I. I'm a little tired. Guess I could do with a little sleep myself. Oh, 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 don't shoot, sir, don't shoot, sir. My word, you're the first kind-looking gentleman I've seen in a fortnight, and now you're about to exterminate me. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? Well, I'd ask you the same thing, sir. Come on. Oh, oh yes, sir. Well, you see, it's like this. I'm travelling in tinware for a reputable firm in Sheffield. I was doing all right till the revolution broke out. Well, the 
the past month now, I've been trying to find my way back to the coast. Blimey, I, I always find myself back in the in the middle of the island, you know, going round in, in circles. That... Now, look there, sir. There we are, sir. A tin of me kippered earrings I left here three weeks ago. And here I am right back again. Where's your guide? A guide? Why, well, I've had guides and guides. Every time we get anywhere near the belligerents, the valley natives leave me on the run. Well, you'll have to be on your way. On me way? That's just the trouble. I don't know me way. Well, you can't stay here. Besides, we're short of rations. You are? You all do. Don't you worry about that, sir. Don't you worry at all. Oh, I've been too frightened. I haven't had the stomach to eat it. Look here, sir. I've got marmalade, fresh beef, sardines. All right, you can stay. But only until morning. All the delicacies from the far corners of civilization. You don't know how nice it is, miss, to be awake in the daytime. <laughs> Come on, Edna. Let's go and wash our hands and face. Don't be long. Breakfast is almost ready. I don't, miss. Well, I've looked all around. Can't find a trace if the others have even been here. They've probably been cut off by the Spaniards. Something must have happened. Dory at least would have been here by this time. Why do you put so much faith in that man? I don't think he's as bad as he makes out to be. Well, I'll give him another hour. Dory won't be here. <coughs> won't be here. I won't allow anything to stop you from getting to Garfield. Please believe me. It was his life or ours. You mean you... It had to be done. Are you blind? Don't you realize it was he who marked our trail? Happy to see you. You know, I've been mighty worried about you, Lieutenant. Ooh. Where are the others? The others? Oh. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Five little patriots started off to war. They tried to uh, kill old Dory, but they ain't here no more. Pretty good hunting. How about tying up the arm, Lieutenant, huh? Mmm. Hot grub, huh? Hot grub. A little document might interest you. I uh, took it off the late Patriot, Senior Pasquale. He's five. Mm hmm. Oh, I don't like to talk shop, Sonny, but now that those five Patriots ain't on your payroll anymore, why, what about a slight increase, huh? <laughs> Now, how do you do, sir? Oh, you, you tin-plated swindler, you. Your face seems familiar, too, sir, but I can't quite place it. Well, I can place you all right. You get that tin and get out of here, you skillet brain. Just a minute, Dory. It's just a slight misunderstanding, sir. A misunderstanding, yeah? You don't call that a misunderstanding, do you? 
You don't think I was born with that deformant, do you? This limey here sold me one of them newfangled automatic coffee pots. When I put the heat under it, the bottom dropped out, and that's the criminal result. I, I never could understand that, sir. It was one of our favorite numbers. Yeah? Well, you take your fake tinware and get out of here before I wrap a skeleton around your skull. Oh, come on, Ethel. We've lost another customer. Here we go in another circle. You come on, have your breakfast. It's all right. Go ahead. Reminds me of a funny predicament. It happened in old San Francisco. Ever been there? Well, I meet this spoiled darling of the waterfront and foggy, you know, foggy night. <laughs> Looked like a pale oyster stew. Her name was Constance. I takes her into the drink parlor and starts to get a drink and that and the funny looking individual comes up to us with a wild, crazy gleam in his eye and right away I figures it's it's her spouse. And I up and let him have it with a fistful of fingers. Of course I didn't know that I had a bottle in my hand. Hurry. I got it. I got it. A Mauser. A Mauser bullet. Why, I never sold the Spaniards any Mausers. What a dirty crook. There's <laughs> some double-crossing smuggler on this island selling Mausers.
Guess I fell asleep. Thank you. Bien. That's what I brought for you. You must go on. When you're able to travel, not before. I don't count. You're here to do something for my people. You must go on. You're right. Dory was taking the captain. Believe it. I want to tell you that there have been a thousand times on this. And I've wanted to forget you. Forget messages. Forget everything. And just take you in my I'm going to do my best to get through, but whether I make it or not. You'll know I love you. Tell him we'll take your ass after Ellen to me. It's an old proverb. It means love follows a loved one on wings of imperishable thought. I don't like to be commercial after a tender moment like that, but don't forget, you know, that... Uh... As soon as she's able to travel, get her back to the coast. Understand? I'll take care of her. Jose! Hey, wait a minute. You know, uh, one thing more that they didn't teach at West Point that you ought to know now that you're not going to take me long to take care of you. You know, I didn't have any trouble finding that message on you, so uh, you take the message and roll it up and stick it down in the barrel of the gun like that, and if anyone captured you, blue and bluey, no mess. Savvy? I think I can take care of myself. You just do as you're told. All right, Sonny, all right. Story. Yes, ma'am. Follow him. Don't let him out of your sight. He can never reach Garcia without help. You mean you? You don't, you don't want me to kind of stay around here and take care of you? What happens to me doesn't matter. The message is the important thing. Follow him, please. I guess you're right. Well, I got to hand it to you. You got more courage than Lady Constance or that Boston blonde that hung from the chandelier and kicked ten coppers into their graves. Thanks, Sergeant. Perhaps I've misjudged you, too. Oh. I'm no good. I learned a lot being around you. Water and a lot of grub. Here's a mosquito net. Put it over and keep the flies and mosquitoes off. Our city gets through and I'll get back as soon as I can. Don't worry. I'll be all right. All right. Oh, here. Here's some matches. 
You're going there? Yes, sir. All right. in there, them alligators mean business. You load oh, Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, Sonny. Why'd you leave her? Now, contain yourself. I told you that you'd have to leave her in the end. What do you mean? Well, when a fever hits an open wound down in this country, why, that's the finish. They go out like a candle in a cyclone. I stayed with her right up to the end, and I thought I'd better pick up your trail and come along and see if I couldn't help you get through. She was... Well, I'm sorry. You got to pull yourself together, son. Why, we got to be moving along. It had to happen to her. And for what? Don't look at it that way. Gosh. It's unfortunate that anything like that's liable to happen. Yes. Well, we're heading back for the coast. Oh, you can't do you that. You heard me. Come on. Oh, you can't. You can't. You can't do that. Now, here, you listen to me. You know that you can't run out on your country. I did that once. I'd give a million dollars if I had. You guessed it. Right along. I was a sergeant. Top sergeant, the old 3rd Marines. Yeah, Leatherneck. One fine day, I up to search, run out on my country. I've been running ever since. But you're different. You're a West Pointer. You mean something. Holy mackerel. I'd give my right arm if I hadn't. Well, on old Uncle Sam. Gosh, I'd have to be back there wearing that old uniform with the third Marines. Talk about that tin peddler being lost down here for a month. I've been lost down here for ten years. You know that you can't quit. Why, you wouldn't quit for all the tea in China, now would you? Would you? Come on, Sarge. Let's travel. Hey, wait a minute. You know, crossing one of these rivers calls for a lot of technique. Here. Here. Take that. Start hitting those guys right on the snoot. It shatters their imagination. Get out of here! Or shoot! Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah. 
That's exactly what Major Brown's wife said to me in Shanghai. Here we are. There's no blockhouse, General Garcia's headquarters. Come on. No, 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 Lieutenant. This is where I'm getting off. What's the matter? Well, uh, <laughs> of course, you know, I'd like to see you deliver that uh, message to Garcia, but I think it'd be kind of hard to explain my presence in there. I got a job for it, Russ. It's a little bit perturbing. I don't blame you much. Well, maybe I can square it for you. No, because there's, there's something else, too. You know. yeah. See, I was doing a little spy here and there, you know. Isn't there anything but a larceny in that banana stuffed hide of yours? Well, I guess there ain't. Oh, no, 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 no. Never mind. Forget that. Never mind. Never mind. I do want you to do me a favor. Name it. When you get back to the States to see any of that old gang out of the third wings, why, you tell them that you saw me floating around over here on the crest of the waves. You know, going, you know, lie a little bit. You know. Sure, I will. Oh, no, no, never mind that. No. You're going to take it, and no. I wish you a thousand pounds. No. Well, where's the message? You got to give you that message out. Un americano que quiere ver al general. Que venga. Pase. Lieutenant Rowan of the United States Army reporting to General Garcia. I have. And I, Lieutenant, have been expecting you. As you were saying, Lieutenant. I have nothing to say. Rodriguez. Welcome. Is it a spear? Si. Strip and search him. Registrelo. Vamos, muchachos! A minute, Mr. Dory. What's the idea? What's the idea here? General Garcia would like to see you. Who, me? I ain't done nothing. No, of course not. He just wants to ask you about that ammunition you sold him. Ammunition? Yes. He wants to know why the bullets were filled with sawdust instead of powder. Sawdust? Well, ain't that too bad. Very peculiar, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 
You give him my compliments and tell him I don't know nothing about him. Hold it. I think the general would rather have you explain that in first. Well, now, wait a minute. Let's talk this thing over. Vamos, vamos. Please tell the senor commandante, if he will excuse me, that I would like to question this man privately. El doctor Cruz preferiría interrogar al espía en privado. Dígale que a nada deshonorable debe ser sometido el prisionero en nuestra ausencia. Siendo este militar, debemos considerarle un prisionero de guerra. He says for you not to harm the prisoner. He's an officer and must be treated as such. Oh, assure the señor commandante that such a thought never entered my mind. El doctor le garantiza que nada le sucederá al prisionero. Muy bien. Retiremos. Now, Lieutenant, might as well understand each other. I am being paid to prevent a certain message reaching General Garcia. Quite certain you've got it. Now, it's no concern of mine whether the glorious Americans win this war or whether the equally glorious Spaniards triumph. And as to the message, I don't know what's in it. And furthermore, I don't even care. But I have got to have it. Even if I have to kill you. And now that we do understand each other, Lieutenant, will you give me the message without any further difficulties? Your speech was most emphatic. But I'm sorry I can't oblige you. Well, in that case, I'm afraid I'm going to have to cause you quite some inconvenience. You've already done that, Doctor. I imagine that's very unpleasant. Bienvenido, Mr. Dory. Hey, what's the idea of bringing into this place? Huh? Yeah. the general wanted to see me, huh? Well, I demand that you take me right over there to see him now. You'll see him all right. All right, let's go. Stay right where you are. It's funny, huh? By now, the general knows the big favor that I've done for him. You'll clip your hair when he finds you've been pushing me around. Attention. Hello, General. I didn't know that you was here. I thought that you was over at Cedro. I just took an American over there. Silence. I will give you one minute to explain this ammunition. Oh, listen. General, you know me. On my word of honor, I don't know how the sawdust got them bullets I sold you. Let's forget it. What I want to tell you is this. I just finished taking an American officer through the Spanish lines, and he's over there at your headquarters at Cedro waiting for you. Dice que llevó un oficial americano a Cedro. So you brought an American officer through the line? Sure I did. And you took him right into Cedro. You bet your life. I had a hard time getting him through them Spanish lines. Well, that's very nice of you, Mr. Dorris. But if you had been anywhere near Cedro during the last two weeks, you would have known that it's under the Spanish flag. Spanish? Well, no. No, that, that can't be. Why, I just saw the Cuban flag. Oh, that boy's going to think that I sold him out. Oh, we've got to get over there quick. Come on. Llévenselo. Llévenselo. Oh, you can't shoot me. That's it. You can't shoot me. You've got to save that boy. 
He carries an important message to you from the American government. Estará diciendo la verdad. Imposible. You've got to believe me. I'm telling the truth. I admit I lied to you about the bullets. Yes, there were sawdust in them, but I told the same thing to the Spaniards. I'm telling you the truth. I can prove it. Why, your sister was with me. She acted as our guide. My sister? You dare deny it? Yeah, I'm going to All right. All right, you're caught with the gun. Shoot me. All right. No one of the Spaniards to kick the way out of you. I'll tell the Americans. First decent thing I've done in ten years, and you want to shoot me for it. Empina. Have you a last request? No. Well, yes. If you ever bump into Lieutenant Rohn of the United States Army, why, you tell him that I didn't know that the Spanish had taken Cedra. Is that all? Yeah. Well, tell him that I told you that just before I got shot. Thank you, believe it. Come on, let's get this over. My arm hurts me. It won't be long. There's no sawdust in these bullets. That's uh, too bad. This door. Apunten. My word. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. From Pampita. Get that fellow there. He can prove what I tell you is the truth. Call him over here. Look at my leg. Try gun, I tell Jalapero. Well, I'm glad to see you, Limey. Come on, tell him. I'll do the talking. Have you ever seen this man before? Sorry, sir. Never had the pleasure. Why, you lying limey, you out shoving yeah. dish pan down him, your sir. throat. I'll tell him, on, I'll tell him, truth. I'll tell him. I really do know him. I saw him with, with an American gentleman when I was... Yeah, I was, who else? Who else? Well, Come on. Oh, with a Cuban girl. Pretty too. The gentleman used to call her Lita. Yeah, there you are. I guess you'll believe me after this. What was my sister doing with you? Well, she was taking Lieutenant Rowan to see General Garcia, just like I told you in there. Come inside and tell the general. I'll tell him, I'll tell him. Fine state of affairs. Putting innocent patriots up against the wall and shooting them like there was a lot of cheap spies. Shatters all my delusions of fair play. particular use of the rope has been known to cause the mind to snap. Now, I'd hate to see that happen to a nice young fellow like you. Where's the message? Where's that? Pro... Organoid. But you've got to take me along, General. You will stay here. Until your story is investigated. Oh, please, please give me a chance. Let me go. I've got to get to that boy. I don't want him to think that I sold him out. Please let me go, will you, General? All right. You may come. But a first suspicious move? Oh, you can trust me, General. Of course. Las hogueras están listas. Enciéndalas. Mi caballo. Y otro para él. Thank you, General. You don't have to be...
a los caballos. Corneta, la marcha a la bandera. ¡Adelante! ¡Viva el Corneta! Senorita, we've been expecting you. Oh, excuse me. You please sit down. You know him? I never saw him before in my life. Too bad. You might have saved him. Do sit down. Where is the message? All right, Rodriguez. May I speak to him alone? Yes. 
no use. You've done all you can. You must kill me. You must save yourself. Very careless not to unload that. Very clever, Lieutenant. message to Garcia. Gee, I'd like to see that sight. You're going to be there. Right beside me where you belong. No. It ain't in the cards. I'm on my way. Can you... Can you imagine me dying for my country and not getting a dying for it? One thing I own, I want you to have it. General Garcia gave it to me for getting you through the lines. Don't ever let him see it.
dran. Spiel mal Lita. Oh. oh, hermana mía. ¿Estás bien? Temíamos no llegar a tiempo. My brother. ¿El oficial americano? Sí. Lieutenant Brown. Oh. Ese debe ser. General García, este es el oficial americano, el teniente Rowan. Lieutenant. General. You have a message for me? Yes, sir. From the President of the United States. Thank you. This message means the liberation of our people. <laughs> 